Hello everyone, welcome back to another 3D Artcore tutorial and this time we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to uh, use a texture and really model out of it a uh, window and at the same time we're gonna deal with specular maps. Uh, so what you see here, you can see the window, right? And you can see that there is a handprint on top of that window and you can see clearly the background that is uh, behind that window. So this is just the render view, but if I'm going to show you it here, you can see really that we have a 3D window with 3D uh, window pieces. And as you can see, our window is somewhat clear. Uh, we used this, I used a specular map in order to uh, give this feeling that our window is not clean that much, you know, and it has a hand footprint on top of it. So uh, it's going to be very easy to set up, but I, I created like, um, I, I did some experiments with that in order to create this tutorial. And I don't know, I've got into a really huge uh, scene here where I needed to apply some sort of uh, IBL. Well, yeah, just an IBL here at the background. I also try to use the background uh, just to uh, show you that uh, you can see through those windows pieces and so on. So in order to begin with this, what I will do is I'm going to open uh, Facebook and I want you to go over wind um, <coughs> well uh, Google Images, type in window. Uh, let's go over images here and you will see that we have a frame here. So pick this one because this is the one that I picked. Uh, just click on it, click view image, and click and um, drag it to your desktop. And we already used that window, by the way, so I hope you still have this texture. If not, download it. Then go over and type in wash texture, and you will find that texture. Now, you can use any of those textures. It doesn't matter which color it has, but just try to, f you know, find something that really gives that uh, same feel to that window. So I use that one. Again, it's just a 600 by 600 um, resolution pixels. Uh, view image, download it, and put it on your desktop. So with that done, I'm going to create a new file scene in here. And before we begin, I want you to go over window, setting preferences, plugin manager, and make sure that Maya2MR or Maya2MR.mel is loaded okay for me it's uh, mac os so bundle for you if you're a windows user it should be dot mail tick both those boxes uh this will load the mental ray plugin if you don't have it go on to autodesk um, website and download the mental ray plugin for your uh, you know maya version and with that done um now we're gonna start so at first I'm going to touch about the render settings and stuff like that because I want to get rid of this as much as quick as I can. Uh, I'm going to choose render using mental ray. Uh, from the common, leave it as it is. Quality, you want to bring it to 1.7 or 1.8, something like that will be fine. And <clears throat> switch to the scene tab. And here we will need later on to create an image-based lightning. I don't want to do it right now because it will block my scene and I don't need it right now, later on. Now, I'm going to create a plane and I'm going to scale it up. And what I will do here with this plane is I'm going to choose polyplane tab here and reduce all the subdivision width and height. And I'm going to rotate this holding down the J key to 90 degrees that way. With that done, I'm going to right click, choose assign new material. If you loaded the mental ray plugin, you can see this mental ray tab here and choose Maya Material X. Click on that. This will open this attribute editor. You want to go over here. Let's call this window windows. Okay. No window frame. Okay. And hit the enter. So you will recognize this shader. Now, from the color, you click on this checkered box, click File here, and here you will have a folder icon. Click on it and choose your window frame. Now, my window frames are here somewhere, okay, and I'm going to click Open. 
If you press 6 now on your keyboard, you will be able to see the texture on top of your plane. Okay, so I want to cut out those windows here out of that portion, okay, out of this plane. So what I will do here is I'm going to take this, select it, shift right click, insert edge loop, do option, okay, and click reset tool. And now I'm going to add, according to those windows, edge lines that will, um, you know, be aligned with those frames. So I'm going to click here, one here, so it's passing all the way through down here. I want to just make a point that this texture is not really aligned, so I won't be able to do a very precise work with it. I'm adding another edge here to cross all the way there. So two for this frame, now two for this, and this is crossing to the same um, side here, so that's okay, but you can see that it's not really aligned here, right? Now, I don't want to deal with much with the UV mapping right now, so I'm trying to make things simple for you. And I'm adding this one here, and this one here, and now for this one here, one here, one here, two here, <coughs> and one here. So with that done, now we can right click choose face and we can grab all the windows, right? It's pretty easy. We can grab those and we can go and shift right click, choose extract face, press F8 three times, one, two, three, and then the gizmo will go away. And since everything is still selected, I'm going to hold down control and select only the frame. So it will leave me only with the window pieces, okay? With that done, I'm going to go over Mesh, combine them, modify, center the pivot for them, and I'm going to extrude them out, just a little bit like so. So they will have some thickness to them. Now I'm going to take this, and I'm going to extrude this as well, the frame, a little bit more than the windows. So here you go, we have those uh, this windows frame and the windows are in separated uh, objects, see? And what I'm going to do with the windows now is I'm going to right click choose assign new material, mental ray, Maya material X, and from here what I want to do is I want to go over the refraction section tab and bring the transparency into one, okay? So we have transparency, transparency applied to this shader. Right now we can see through the windows. And I'm going to create a background. Well, let's leave it. Don't create background right now. Okay, don't. Just don't. <laughs> Never mind. So we created the basic shape of this. And we want to enhance also BAMP, um, you know, the wood sort of feel. Uh, also the frames here, you know, all this window frames and everything. So in order to enhance this and pop this out, we're going to use um, a BAMP map. So the easiest way to create BAMP map, since we have Adobe Creative Cloud, uh, is to really use the built-in uh, BAMP map or normal map that we have with it. So what you want to do is you want to go over Photoshop or just open that window frame. Okay. Right click, choose open Adobe Photoshop. This will open well, it's not opening. One second. So here you go. It's opening this uh, frame and immediately go over filter. 3D and choose generate BAMP map. You can also choose generate um, normal map, but I'm going to use BAMP map and I'm going to switch here down here to texture map. Okay, so it will show you that. You don't want to mess around with those, you just want to go and click OK 
and leave it as it is. File, save as, and call it window frame or whatever you want, BAMP, okay? Just so it will be easier for you to recognize this. Click save. I'm going to save it on my desktop. Yeah, I want to replace this because I already have it. And now I'm going to go over Maya. And what I will do, I will grab this frame and where it says, well, let's do edit, delete by type history. So we will be able to see the window frame shader and where it says here bump at the standard bump. You want to click on this checkered box, click file, switch here to this tab, file to click on this folder icon and load up your window frame bump. Okay, click open. And here you go, you can already see how it affects the frame, right? So because these are divided, it's not affecting our windows, uh, only the frame of the window. So that's nice. And it's probably a lot of BAMP. <coughs> we can change it uh, using here and here and change this to a lower value, like, I don't know, 0 0.200. Okay, just to have a little bit BAMP done, not too much. <clears throat> okay, so with that done, now we want to deal with our specular map for the windows. So the specular map is pretty straightforward. What you do, you take that window shader, which is this one, the Maya Material X2, uh, windows, and I just renamed this, and where it says reflection, you're going to change the color you click on this checkered box, click File, choose the folder icon, and you want to take your washed um, texture, okay, and click Open. As you can see right now, the windows are looking dirty, right? Now, according to your light source, which is right now uh, casting on top of your window, this is how you see those specular values, okay? So... We can render this out, but I want to have a background now, just so we will be able to see anything behind it. Otherwise, you will see a gray black background, and therefore any background will be necessary in order to really tell that those windows are transparent. So I'm just going to use the IBL, so image-based lighting, click create, it will create this uh, sphere. <clears throat> and from the image name folder icon here, you click on it and you choose whatever HDRI map you have. So I'm going to use this one that I have. Click open. It will load. And as you can see right now, we can see through the window. So I'm going to only take a render and see how that looks. So it will take time to render this out, but... The thing is that you always want to have some source light on top of your specular item in order to enhance these uh, specular values. So just be aware of this. Without any lights, uh, you won't be able to see much of those specular values and they will remain blank that way. I mean, you will see very low of them, very low details. So you can go on and choose to uh, eliminate the default light here from the common tab. You can go and create your own light, let's say air light. And if I'm gonna press T on my keyboard, I, I will see two handles. So you're gonna put this light and this will be the anchor point. So T is turtle, just press T on your keyboard while you selected the area light and with that, if I'm going to press 7, you will be able to see how the lights affect our uh, window, right? So you see how the specular maps exactly are shown, but really I need to scale this up a little bit to make intensity a little bit higher. Press T to move it along here. Well. like that, and I'm going to change my light values to the K rate of quadratic 
intensity of 300 about 300 will be good from this distance and use light shape okay now you can emit photons and lower down the uh, intensity all the way down it will use the IBL light system to enhance those this light and really bring it to your window but I will guess that the best way will be to simply direct your IBL light uh, which is the skies here as you can see this area which is the Sun probably uh, simply to rotate this so it will face your window that way okay so this will make sure that you are casting enough light towards your window and of course the background will be the grass but this is not the point here the point is just to bring some light into that scene so you will be able to see the specular map on top of your window uh, yeah something looking bad here for some reason I don't know why but it became metal gray <laughs> yeah I think I'm gonna I'm not gonna use this uh, emit photons I'm gonna just go on and use intensity of 300 and let's kill the emit photons and that way I will need another light source here so let's duplicate this press T and move this one above here now whatever I'm seeing with my camera here this is a potentially what I'm gonna see in my render so you wanna put your camera in a way that you can see some of those uh, specular values if not what you can do is you can take the this let's do delete by type history for this as well so we can reach the material faster and from the reflectivity I can crank up the reflectivity a little bit not too much I don't know something like that will be fine maybe highlights only let's see what else I can No. Yeah, th this will be enough. You can use max distance of 0 0.001 and fade and color. Change it to white, maybe. Not sure. Let's try this. Or maybe to black. But we shall see right away. Let's let it render. All right, so we can see the specular pretty good. Although the windows are not that clear, so maybe I would want to go on and maybe lower down the reflectivity, but at the overall, uh, we can kill the reflectivity, I think, but let me try and see this. I'm going to stop the render here. And I'm going to try and make another render and see if I can still see those... Uh, <coughs> specular values All right it looks like it's uh, ignoring them maybe changing this to black yeah, I think I need a very lower um, Wait one second. For some reason it doesn't show very good, uh, you know, uh, 
speculars values but I think that getting rid of getting rid of the entire reflectivity is not a good idea but let's try this that way I'm gonna render only the top area here I want to see that way if it's better yeah of course it will be better so that's good that's fine okay so just one more thing before I'm gonna wrap this part and basically leave you to test this um, there is this thing with uh, the specular map uh, which I wanna uh, take one step further just to really uh, explain you how you can use it in different ways so as you can see here we have those windows which are uh, the specular map give it gives it uh, really dirty feels feel but you can go on into Photoshop and I don't know let's say I have um, you know when we were kids we were used to draw some uh, you know on those steam windows steam uh, we used to draw and write things I don't know whatever so you can take any brush here uh, with any color and simply go on and really I don't know uh, create something like this thing or write something like love whatever you feel like right okay and I can save this as it is um, yeah and if I go over Maya and reload this ba uh, specular map so let's click on this color and I'm gonna do a reload here so you can see the love is updated and with the together with this and you can see that also on your um, specular windows right so you can do all sort of stuff you can even uh, take a floor like and if you want to have a ceramic floor let's say I'm gonna take a polygon plane and put it that way let's look for uh, floor floor texture yeah let's choose something nice well maybe this one will be good I use that one a lot so let's use this one not sure how it's called here okay Boeing oh my god I hate those long names no oh, dude just wanted to rename you floor and assign new material Maya material X I'm gonna change this to color floor Where is the floor here? Click open. As you can see, we have that. I'm gonna press T and maybe change the light position that way. And I'm gonna do just the same. I'm gonna take this floor and instead of the reflectivity color white, I'm gonna add that same washed 1190. And you can see how the floor right now reacts to that. Uh, I'm not sure what there is in the middle here. There are the windows. But you can see the kid over there, right? The thing that human and the love, right? So you can play with it even more. I don't know, just try and change values and see how it affects this. Uh, let's do zero zero one and mox trace the path uh, no only fade and color 
to black. There you go. You see this? So it's there, right? And maybe I don't want this to be that reflective, but I still want to see it. And let's try and render this out. So I guess that you understand how it works, right? Um, maybe even if I'll go, I don't know, I just want to experiment with something here. So I can go on and file image adjustment, color balance, no, not color balance, but I can white. Filter, and Photoshop has been crashed, because this is what Photoshop does, it's crashing. Never mind, you get the idea, right? So anyway, thank you for watching, hope that was helping, and I will see you in the next tutorial, bye!